Hello and welcome in this new tutorial of AeroCollect. I'm going to show you now how you can use AeroCollect as an inspection tool. We have Inner Model, a 3D point cloud over church. And first thing you can do to inspect the building is you can go to the mesh, which you can access with a button on the top right. And that's a photorealistic 3D image of the, of the building. So you can use this to uh, have a closer look and you can see that you can see the details you can see where repairs have been done in the past uh, you get you can get a very good visual um, impression of of the building in 3d now that's the first way you can use uh, air collect as, a, as an inspection tool but in, what's also very interesting is you can add annotations and images. For example, if you took an image with your smartphone or you took a zoom image with the, with, the, with the drone, for example, part of the gutter that's not right, and you want to remember that in three months, you can add that as an annotation to the model. You can, to do that, you go, you'll go to the measurement tools. Okay, language is English. You can also add classifications to your annotations. Now we're gonna keep it to none for the demo. And with this tool, you can add the annotation. So you click on it, then you can add a title, let's say test, and a short description if you want. And then you can select any images that's coming, an image that comes from your phone or from, from the drone, you can add that. So let's take this, this image. And then you can add it to the model where you have seen or where the defect is, 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 is seen. Let's put it there. And as you can see, the marker is fixed to the 3D model. And if you want to revisit it, you click the marker, you see the annotation, the image. And that's very useful, for example, if you want to remember in a few months after visiting a site where the details are that you need to take care of. Uh, to do when you're going to do the repair. You can also use air, co air, co air collect to measure. For example, we want to measure the gu gutter that needs to be replaced. You can use a polyline measurement for that. Okay, let's select. Yeah, the area here, there. And then we can zoom in to make sure the points are placed as accurately as possible. I'm going to make the dots a bit thicker. And then we can, you can make sure that you select the, the right dot, the right point. There we go. And um, also on the other side. There. And then you get a measurement 15, 15 or 32 meters. So that's a very easy way to measure gutters and ridges without having to climb on the roof. It's also possible to add uh, labels or change the name of this annotation. So you can use it to instruct people what is where on the roof. For that, we're going to the annotation section. See our gutter is there. We can give it a name. For example, we'll, we'll, we'll name it test one. I'm gonna change the, make the dots a bit smaller. We can change the description of the feature. Let's say test one or test A. Confirm. I see the gutter got a name, test A, and you can show that label with this button. You can also show the annotation, the, the classification with this button. So it's very clear for everyone which, in the, which, uh, which measurement is where on the building. In the 2D 
you can do uh, you can do similar things. For example, if you want to add an annotation, a picture of a of a, of the draw, the designs drawings you have or some other information, you can add it as well. So you select annotation, give it the title, and if you want a description, and then you select the image. Okay, for example, a plan, you, you add it to the, to the image like that, and then you have that information available, uh, easily available. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how you can make a report. You can use the PDF exporter for that. Okay, let's delete what's in there. You take a snapshot. We'll take a snapshot of the within the orange dotted line. Take a snapshot. You can take multiple snapshots. You can do it in 2D, 3D. Uh, we're going to show it with one. And then you generate the PDF export. There, and you see that uh, you get an overview of all the images that you indicated, plus a summary uh, first in 3D of all the annotations you added. Uh, the images uh, with the with a description and the title, and then the gutter, which has the, which is a summary. If you have multiple gutters, it will add it. It will, it will make a summary. And um, also for the 2D here. So that's an almost complete inspection report that you can just generate from straight from the software. You also have all the raw images available all the images that the drone took. You can select to download them all at once to your computer, or you can select the images in the software and zoom in to check any of the details uh, that are easily, that are visible on the, on the raw images. See so this information you'll have always, you always have it available digitally. So thank you for watching this uh, tutorial. Uh, I invite you to also have a look at our other tutorials on our YouTube channel or on our website, uh, aircollect.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and thank you for listening. Bye.